The accession of Pharaoh Djoser to the throne of Egypt has ushered in a new era of wisdom, learning, and artistic achievement. A royal cemetery is to be established at Saqqara to serve as the eternal resting place for nobles such as Hezre and Cabo Saqqar, Pharaoh's trusted courtiers. But this site shall also contain a monument the like of which the world has never seen before. I, the Pharaoh's royal vizier, Imhotep, have conceived a new form of sacred tomb for Pharaoh. Unlike the low mud brick mastavas of prior Pharaohs, this tomb shall rise toward the heavens as if it were comprised of several mastavas placed one on top of the other. And what's more, this stepped pyramid shall be constructed entirely of stone that it may endure the passage of the eons. Deep within, a sarcophagus of solid granite shall hold Pharaoh's body for his eternal rest. Priests at the necropolis of Abjadu have perfected the art of using linen to embalm the dead, thus opening the door to everlasting life to all Egyptians. Our trading post at the Salima Oasis still thrives, and from there you may import ebony from Africa. Pharaoh has given you a generous supply of cash to get started on this project. Do not let him down. All right, and welcome back to Pharaoh, a new era. We are here at Saqqara. We're building our first pyramid. And meadow farming and irrigation. We have now unlocked meadows and, of course, water lifts and irrigation. As always, let's go ahead and take a look at the map first. Let's go up. We got a lot of rocks. We have a lot of gold up here. We have some birds. More birds. Nile, some more birds. You can build a bridge to get across here so your hunters can technically work across more rocks over here and this is the metal end you can see now it is it actually branches out pretty far so we're going to build part way into this part of it because we got to have a dock and the other part is um well it's kind of central we have plenty of farmland though let's go ahead and take a look at the world map we are here at Saqqara next to Min Nefer. looks like they'll buy jewelry from us um, Abjadu, they don't sell, they sell barley, so we could get, we could get barley to make beer. Um, we do have a population requirement of 3,500 in this, so fairly large. Here we go. Bidet will sell clay, and that is a water trade route, so we do need to have a working dock fairly early. Abu will sell flax and gems. We could buy those gems and turn them into jewelry and sell them. We shouldn't really need too much money because we have so many, so much gold. And of course, ebony. We will need, let's take a look at our overseer. We will need pottery, granite, wood, papyrus, and linen once the, once the I was going to say Mustaba, once the pyramid is complete. Those are for provisions. So if your pyramid's done and um, everything else is good, <laughs> that's probably the reason why. So keep that in mind that we need a dock. I planned on this area here because I don't know if this would work since it's shallow. I think I'm going to go right here. One, two, three, three, four. I believe that is right. Yep. Put one more for a roadblock. Kind of doing this backward a little bit. One, two, and then eight. And 17 my normal housing block that I use uh, my video on my housing block that I use might already be out by the time this video is out if not it will be coming out shortly I'll talk about how why it's designed this way how I build it why it's designed how I set up my production and um, and then go into a little bit more of the nitty-gritty from it one one two three four Oop, not that last one I don't think one two three four what happens when I'm talking you know, it's kind of kind of get messed up and always I build these wrong so many times always check okay we're good um I think I'm gonna build quite a few houses to start with just because um that's probably about I don't know nine ten gold mines up there I'm guessing so as always let's just keep setting this up here. Um, that last one will be that. Let's see here. We can put a shrine down. Oh, God. So we didn't look at the gods. Uh, Taff is our um, patron, followed by Bast and Ra. 
as local, so we'll go ahead and put Bast. Oh, we'll put a shrine to Bast right here at our corner. It looks weird, but it'll still work. All right, and then let's set our homes. If actually, just go ahead and set up production. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Like that. And then I think going down will be the dock over here. I'll set up my normal. It's going to be six. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's eight. Oh, perfect. All right. We'll uh, do one more behind it. Oh, that ain't right. So this middle one now is going to be just three. And then it goes one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, down here. I'm going to extend it out. So the dock is two. So it's one, two. I extend it all the way down to the dock. This will be its own little kind of um, set off loop as usual. Oops, that doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. <laughs> Getting It's late when I'm doing this video, so I'm making mistakes. Uh, let's go ahead and get houses in. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Get some water. Let's unpause so people start moving in. Don't want to do too much when they're not here, you know? One. Two, three. Let's get our temple in. We're gonna go to our patron deity of Ta. Ta. And I hope I'm saying that right. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm saying it wrong, somebody let me know, please. So, all right. So the what we're gonna do is we're gonna get gold going. We'll get that going here in a second, and then um, we're gonna get stone and we're gonna get the monument or the pyramid going ASAP because. It's a lot. It's like 600 something stone, if I remember correctly. So it is going to be a monumental undertaking, pun intended. So. I know I'm building more houses than I usually do in the beginning, but I plan on expanding this. Uh, pretty quickly. Alright, let's get gold going while those are moving in. Gold. Uh, the patch notes, they just released an update saying that they are going to be, um, uh, releasing, like, hopefully, uh, you could turn a mini-map, which hopefully means as well we can turn the map. So, that would be very nice. Because I miss being able to turn the map. Alright guys, I think I'm just going to extend this out this way. And just... On, flip down. Just bring this. I don't want to get too close to that. That's where all my stone's going to be. That's fine. I can just move it, I guess. And then, um, yeah, we need to put down the palace. We can start getting gold. Um, no, just put it right there. They love the desirability for it. And our unemployment is two. So, kind of nailed that, didn't we? Got a few more houses in. And by a few, I mean a lot. Fantastic. Alright, well this is going to burn down if we don't do something about it. So, we can turn this into a temple row. So, let's put... This will collapse and fire. So let's go ahead and put our 
services in. And we have, okay, nothing to raw. <clears throat> so remember, um, for your patron god is 375 for a temple and 187 for a shrine and for a sh uh, temple for a local is 750 and a shrine is 375. So you can see we're already um, getting over that. So if we look at that, we have two shrines to Bast, and we always want to have more for your patron. We have two shrines to Bast, um, which should be roughly what? 375, 375, that's 750. So um, that should be good for um, for that one. Raw, sorry, it's once again it's late. Raw, we can put up here. Oh, we did not put our Architects post in. Oh, jeez. There we go. Now my mines won't collapse. Put that bad boy right there. All right, you can see we've already burned through half our money putting those gold mines in. Very expensive. Um, all right, we need more temples to half because I really don't want my place is collapsing. Plus, we're going to have, we should have quite a few unemployment. All right, food. Uh, I think I'm going to start with... Um, do I want to start with hunting? Do we want to start with... That is a good question. Do we want to start with hunting or do we want to start with pomegranates? Um, yeah, I do not know. Technically, we could set up hunting over here. It would just look really weird. The hunters would have less place to go. Well, I can save this for my personal mansion as well. Let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and set, let's set farming up. Let's get farming going because we need the work camps anyway. And, um, yeah. Hunting's usually my, uh, kind of go-to, but it's a little far for this one. You know what? I am going to throw some, because Pharaoh is going to, I believe Pharaoh is going to request, um, raw meat pretty quickly. So I'm going to tell this to accept none except all and then game meat except none same on this one and then we'll put this storage right here for now and just tell it to get game meat because i believe that pharaoh is going to actually start asking for game meat so um yeah let's go ahead and Put some of these in. Six should be fine for now. The hunters are going to take off. There's birds all around. All right. Okay, well, thank you. But <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Okay, that's good. That's, and I, I really love Bass as a god in these missions because when she starts throwing you parties, like, she means it, you know? Um, that's good, too, because we do have a kingdom rating in this mission that we have to get to 50. All right, and you can see over here as well, we have our dock, which we can put in. You can start importing clay. I'm going to use this for, like, storage arts and stuff over here. Go ahead and bring that out that way. All right. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to put more, more hunting lodges in. And that's going to be kind of a bad thing about this is they have to walk so far to go get it. So go ahead. Let's go ahead and set up 
um, some pomegranate farming. Okay, let's look at our options first. Do we have it? We do have the off-road. I'm going to try. This is the first mission we can do it. I'm going to try to have that off-road water lift. So technically the water lift should not require any um, lifting. So. Let's set it up over here. So the way this works is you do that, then you do the trenches, and then it will uh, fill up your farms, and you'll be good to go. So, this does not require... I, mean, I was about to put a road there. I'm so used to doing that. This does not require a road. Go ahead and bring this out. And... Grass is too green, I guess. All right. Remember, these farms do have to um, do have to get road access as well. So usually, what I would do is do a line. All right. So I do a line like that. I do my wait, these. Okay, they don't have any hazard to them. Good. Good. No? Okay, they don't require... Interesting. Oh, can we not do an irrigation ditch underneath the road anymore? Yes, we can. But why can't I do a... Does that mean that I have to put the road in first? I know I have a double road there. Put the road in first, and then can I do an, an irrigation? Huh. Okay. Well, either way, these have... Uh, they are irrigated. They will produce twice a year, but they don't produce as much as a Nile farm. But you get two harvests a year. <clears throat> Alright, we started filling up on game meat. We have 400. That's good. Let's, um... Go ahead and get these farms. 5,000. Let's get some more farms in. Oh boy. I throw my OCD off. Just like that. Let's Yeah, if you have if you have OCD, this is kind of a bad game to play. Now you can see where the farmland gets a little bit better. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Undo. Road first. Jason. Alright, road, road, road. Up. Now. Let's see if... It will run underneath. It will. Oh, okay, good. All right, let's connect it up. There we go. Those are really fertile. Looks like the further you get down, looks like I built on the very fertile part down here. Well, <clears throat> that's just how it is. 
Sorry, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead here. You saw I'm going to set all this boring stuff up. Um, actually, one thing before. Sorry. Let's go ahead and get the monument down. This does need road access. And I don't want to block too much to here. So we're going to go ahead. Put that guy right there. There we go. And then we have zero unemployed workforce. Let's throw in some more houses. All right, I'm going to start feeding my people. I'm going to swell this up. Hopefully start importing some uh, clay here soon. And then um, start making pottery and keep getting the houses going. We do need 3,500. Uh, money is going coming in, but slow because it's so far away. I guess we could put it. No, it's still probably about the same distance. So. All right, guys, I'm going to cut ahead and I'll be back shortly. All right, it looks like Pharaoh wants game meat four months to comply thankfully i've been stocking it up but uh we're gonna go ahead and deliver it there you go pharaoh so i haven't done too much you can see the houses are starting to evolve um we are getting more unemployed so let's put some more of these in here and then uh yeah we're working on our monument as soon as we get this fully evolved up and any excess uh um, workforce we're gonna go ahead and start turning into stone uh, management here for this and I believe we might have to import wood don't remember if this one but I think we do that way they can build the thing up so I'm gonna go ahead and start planning on that as well and uh, all right just wanted to show you that we'll be back shortly if anything else happens all right we are coming along on our first layer of pyramid here our houses are up to the pottery stage now they need beer I set in another loop down here just in case to expand population. Um, still staying at like 1% unemployment. Keeping the gods happy. I'm starting to import some wood because you're going to need wood to build up. And then um, I'm also starting to import gems. And we'll be exporting gems or exporting jewelry when over zero. So basically I don't want to keep any. So I'm importing a thousand gems, exporting or importing 700 wood, hopefully, and uh, I'm still importing 1,500 clay. I'm keeping our pottery levels pretty good. I don't need a whole lot. Can actually once they're done, I'll probably go ahead and remove one of those. So hopefully, more of our traders will come in this is a water trade route again all right we have clay here let's go ahead and accept barley as well put our production our brewery good we got gems coming in Five breweries. Yeah, sounds good. Put another. We got our wood in, I see. Good, good. Beer. All right. Are they waiting? Or can they start bringing it in? Okay. I guess they're not high enough to need the steps yet. So I assume they would because there's a carpenter guild. Uh oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this here. Just because it is getting to be a pain to not have workers. I don't know how much I'm going to have them evolve or even if I will. Oh, why I put that there. So yeah. 
All right, guys, I'm going to build this out, um, keep this going, and be back here shortly. All right, guys, it looks like Pharaoh is requesting money a little bit. All right. So I went ahead and ixnade the whole uh, beer importing thing. I figure if I just do a second block, I've already filled it with food. So I'm just so overproducing food. I could cut that back. Um, that... Um, oops. But I figure that I can, I can reach the population just by dealing with two modest blocks here instead of building up and importing. I just want to get the pyramid done. We're already 33%. I'll probably just import the exact amount of linen um, instead of making it myself. I am exporting gems as they're being made. So that's good. Um, just got to stay steady, stay in the green. We got a little bit of wood coming in um, just for building up as this goes. So looks like things are getting kind of stable, except for the gods. Always got to check on them. So. All right, guys, I'm going to build some more temples before they burn my place down. And we'll be back. All right, the uh, pyramid's coming along nicely. You can see they built the little raft there so as it goes up housing's coming along we have a little bit of unemployment now we built these up a bit bended more stone more stone still can't keep up so yeah when i would when i was removing those breweries i accidentally deleted the potters as well and i i caught it just in time that uh yeah I almost ran out of pottery in my city and that would have been really bad so Gotta be careful with that. All right, guys. Not much else going on. This is once you get a pretty stable city. This is basically wait and see. You know, we gotta check our overseer here. We will need 500 papyrus, 500 linen, and 15 granite. A little extra wood. I will ex increase my wood to a thousand. That way, I will always have a thousand wood. We're gonna keep using it as we go up and around. Um, to make ramps, but uh, that way we can go ahead and get rid of the processions for it. So, all right, guys, looks like Pharaoh requests ebony. He wants two sets of it in nine months. I think that's something we can probably do. I don't really know if it's worth it, but let's take a look. We got 98 kingdom rating. I'm just worried it might have some trade thing to do with it. We can go ahead and say accept all. Then let's take a look. Ebony. 200. We're doing okay. For a while we dipped down into debt because it was just like they sold a bunch of stuff at the same time and all that. And it was kind of, it's kind of nasty. So uh, we started getting low on money and it looks like not everybody's buying so that's what scares me is like oh if they do that they get mad not buy stuff from me anymore or something i don't know what the trigger would be but uh yeah we got stone here stone here stone there we're getting there this is a lot we still got 416 left i thought it was like 600 and something to build it no it's like a thousand eight hundred or something to build it so um, yeah, definitely. So as my workforce goes up, I make more work camps. And then if I need more and I expand, I just delete work camps. And then, well, I had imported Pharaoh's Ebony and it said that it was delivered on the trading that, oh yeah, you have Ebony. And then I'm like, well, where did it go? It's not in my yard. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have these to don't turn off to turned off to don't buy even though the houses can't use them the bazaars bought them anyway so i went through all of the bazaars and set those to don't buy don't buy ebony here went all my linen that was why i went uh so far down in money is because they kept delivering linen they kept going to the bazaars for no reason because these houses aren't going to use it which doesn't make sense they shouldn't buy it i don't know makes sense i guess so uh, keep that in mind that if you're importing things that you're just going to sell like jewelry and stuff like that, 
or if you're making things that you're going to sell, make sure you set your bazaars to don't buy. Well, I had imported Pharaoh's Ebony and it said that it was delivered on the trading that, oh yeah, you have Ebony. And then I'm like, well, where did it go? It's not in my yard. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have these to don't turn off to turned off to don't buy, even though the houses can't use them. The bazaars bought them anyway. So I went through all of the bazaars and set those to don't buy. Don't buy ebony. There went all my linen. That was why I went uh, so far down in money is because they kept delivering linen. They kept going to the bazaars for no reason because these houses aren't going to use it, which doesn't make sense. They shouldn't buy it. I don't know. Makes sense, I guess. So uh, keep that in mind that if you're importing things that you're just going to sell like jewelry and stuff like that. Or if you're making things that you're going to sell, make sure you set your bazaars to don't buy. All right. It was the city of Abu was requesting ebony. This wasn't Pharaoh. So it says Behet, Bedet is now willing to trade any more jewelry. Does that mean they buy? Oh, they do buy more jewelry. Huh. Oh, it's not too bad, please. Get in there. We only need 160 more blocks of stone. Our population is right where we need to be. Thank you, Raw. Thank you, Best. Thank you, Taff. And you can see our... We have no culture requirement. Our prosperity is good. Our kingdom is 100. Just from blessings from Raw and sending the miscellaneous gifts. So we just need that last bit of monument. Um, now I know where my linen went, so I'm going to go ahead, go back to my ratings, or my, my ratings, my trade. I'm going to tell him to linen, uh, import to maintain 500, and then once I get my 500, I turn this off, I dispatch it to the temple, and then, uh, it's good to go. So... All right, guys, we will be done here shortly. This is going to be Sakara. It's, it's not a difficult mission. Um, you don't have it seems like you're going to be pretty fat on resources, but you're definitely not. Um, as far as like exports, I'm exporting game meat. I'm exporting jewelry. I'm exporting pottery. Um, yeah, all that. And I'm still in the beginning or when I was really building up, I didn't have a whole lot of money. Um, hey, there we go. Yeah, so basically you just sit here and, and do this every little bit and keep her going. So. Unemployment minus 21. I'm going to start knocking back some of these um, further fields that aren't really producing too well. That should give us some unemployment minus one. Let's get rid of one more. We have so much, uh, so much food being made. It's a pretty safe bet. Go ahead and bring up our, uh, homes a little bit more. That's kind of the benefit of something like this. Is that, um, the, these housing loops is that you can really control your population. All right. We got the achievement, one for the collection. Oh, Royal Judge Adam, at long last, the step pyramid is complete. The monument will forever stand as a testament to your abilities. Very nice. Very nice. We have our linen for a thousand. We're only supposed to get 500, but cool. So once that goes, there it is. Victory. You have accomplished the unmatched. With your wisdom, a massive pyramid unlike anything that has been seen before. Stretches toward the sky and guarantees immortality to our pharaoh. We completed it in 125 months. Um, so yeah, guys, I, I do apologize for some of those earlier videos. The sound, the way the it was being equalized and brought out, it really made the background music super loud. So if you didn't notice in this one, I turned it off. So this was Sakara. I hope you all enjoyed watching it and see you next time.